Hey, good morning. Good morning and happy Tuesday to you. Thank you, you as well. A fine Tuesday it is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And we are going to be talking our heads full because take a look at this list, what we do. Uh, this is all centered around today's topic, which is changing market and how we sometimes might forget about all the creative financing options and all the useful resources that we have here at Homestead. We'll get into this a little bit more, but I want to highlight one thing in particular, the Dream for All program. Registration for this closes April 29th, six days away. If you don't know what that is, absolutely give us a call. It's 100% worth a call to figure out what this is. If you do know what it is and you have clients that are not registered, they need to get on it now or else they're definitely not going to have a chance on it. Um, Take a look at strategies. You know, we got mortgage insurance buy downs. Did you even know such a thing existed? And then in terms of planning, we always say we got our credit credit education seminar. This is going to be the first Tuesday of the month, Tuesday, May 7th, 5 o'clock p.m. online and in person here at Homestead Mortgage. And don't forget the first time homebuyer seminar, the third Tuesday of the month, which is going to be Tuesday, May 21st, again, 5 o'clock at the office, Homestead Mortgage, downtown Jackson. It's uh, Send your clients. It's so well worth it. People just don't know what they don't know. Um, Talking with a client yesterday, they've got money in a coffee can buried in the backyard. Is that okay? (laughs) No, it's not okay. No. (laughs) (laughs) It's great for your, uh, your lawn person who digs it up but uh, you can't use it for a loan. So there's really a lot to talk about, a lot that people simply just don't know. Yeah, and and honestly, I'm going to harp on this a little more too. I I imagine it can be pretty frustrating as as a realtor to have a client who, you know, says they have all this money and they have all these things and they're ready to buy a house. Then you send them over to get pre-qualified or pre-approved. And then you find out, wait, there's a big red flag that might halt this deal for a tiny bit of time. Well, it's the same kind of thing. So let's get ahead of the game. Credit education, first time home buyer seminar, any other kind of planning so that we can have buyers prepared right away to make that offer when the time comes. And yep. speaking of frustration, it looks like we might have a little bit of a tampering. We've finally seen a leveling off of our interest rate hike. If you haven't seen it before, this is a mortgage-backed security chart. Red is bad, down is bad, green is good, up is good. And in this case, we had a couple week long going down to the bad side. It was not good. And interest rates responded respectively. We have had a level off. We have a tiny trickle up. But Dale, what has that done to interest rates? Well, if you'll recall in last week's uh, video, We talked about it was 6.8, but we knew this week's forecast wasn't in there because this is always a week behind when they release the numbers. That 7.1 rate is an average of all loans, whether it's conventional, FHA, USDA, VA, paying one point, paying two points, paying no points. That's all an average. So. 7.1 7.1 is the average. Some people are going to be better than that. Some people are going to be worse than that. But it's an indication that rates have gone up again, not as high as October. October was just brutal. Yeah, but, 8, 8.1%, 8.01%. Yeah, it, yeah, it just stopped. But hopefully we can see a leveling off, a trend downward. That would be really nice. Keeping fingers crossed, hopefully. Yeah. Now, Dale, I've had this question already twice today, and it's Tuesday morning. It's uh, We're recording right now at around 11 a.m. I have had two people ask me if I can look into my crystal ball and say, when are rates coming down? I don't have a freaking clue. I don't have a clue. But what I do know is all the things we do. I want to highlight some of these programs. Obviously, the zero down VA USDA loans. They're a little bit of a unicorn, the USDA, um, but we're Amador Calaveras County. 
if there were a county in California that could do it, we live in them. Uh, three and a half percent FHA. There are so many first time home buyer programs that latch on to FHA. We have the 5% down conventional, but truly we have a first time home buyer 3% down conventional. All you need to do is have 80% area median income or less. We got a 1% down program. It's fantastic if you can qualify for that one. Zero down payment, you know, down payment assistance stuff. Uh, Dream for All is in there. We got career-based loans and gifts and grants that you can apply for. And then this bottom one, non-QM. This is a huge long laundry list of its own. Uh, we're talking about investment properties, rental properties, non-income uh, based uh, loans. This, this list can go on forever. We have a solution for about just about everything. Uh, Dale, what are some strategies that we offer? Well, you, you know, strategies, they're going to vary just like people are going to vary. It is not a one size fits all. And some people, it's a combination of everything. You've got permanent buy downs, which is in essence paying points, temporary buy downs, which is reducing the interest rate for one, two or three years. Interesting note, the buyer cannot pay for that. Seller contributions has to pay for that. So that's important to note. Uh, you can buy down your mortgage insurance. You can pay off your mortgage insurance. FHA reduced MI. Uh, there's some first time home buyer benefits. Uh, buyer finance closing costs. Now, typically you can't finance closing costs if you're the buyer, but you can certainly raise the purchase price, have the seller credit and get it paid that way. So there's all kinds of ways to, I hate to say it this way, but manipulate the system but it is definitely not one size fits all it is what we've done for 30 years which is visit with the client find out their needs and figure it out for them yeah and and the feasibility aspect i mean some of those things you brought in there hard emphasis on the fact that it's not one size fits all you can't use every solution. I'll pick on seller credits, buyer finance, closing costs for a second. Um, that absolutely is going to take teamwork and realtor support. It's going to take some meticulous planning because let's say we do raise the purchase price of a house. The appraisal has to support that. And that's not something you can yeah. just count on every single time. It's market specific and it's house specific and of course offer specific. So there are gonna be a lot of intricacies that come in. We've talked about our credit education. We've talked about our first time home buyer. We do debt analysis. We do goal building. We do educational seminars in your office, in our office. We don't have clients come in and say, oops, sorry, you don't qualify. Have a good day. Talk to, you, to us when you're ready. We always will have a plan for you and your clients to get on the path of home ownership can guide a horse to water we can't make them drink that would be really cool if we could <laughs> but we will always have a plan if they can't buy now we're gonna get them ready to buy later yes absolutely so that about wraps it up for today if you guys have any curious questions or need any help understanding some of these programs again these lists are incomplete i just figured Put some nice things on there. They're all much longer. Give us a call. <laughs> We'd be glad to walk you through anything. So. Perfect. Well, as always, great job putting this program together, Noah. Good well, job. thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye now.